Good evening, everybody. Clinton here, Oval Window Racing. Um, I'm going to take the, the bug out here, Simon, for a test run. I did a upgrade on the wastegate. I added a, a stiffer spring. Um, I was having trouble uh, getting some boost, and uh, I'll kind of show you a little bit what I did here. What I got here is a uh, manual. Uh, you know, get in there and see it. Got here's a manual. Uh, what is it? It's a, it's a manual boost controller, and uh, it just works by uh, there's a bull ball and a spring in there, and, I, and you just turn this little knob here, and I'm going to give it 32 clicks. And uh, what I found out, uh, just playing with it back and forth, there's about 98 clicks up and down. Um, on my previous spring, what I had was uh, a seven pound spring in there, and uh, I could get about 14 to 15 pounds of uh, pressure out of it. Um, and uh, talking with my friend, friend of mine, uh, Warren, um, those of you may know him at uh, Anti-Lag Racing, um, he told me that's about what the boost controller is good for, uh, doubling your sp spring pressure. So I've got a 14 pound spring in there now, and uh, I'm hoping, given it 32 clicks, I can see about 15 to 16 pounds of boost right now. Um, with it all the way uh, backed out, I was getting about 13 to 14 pounds, so it may actually do a little better than that. But where I was losing some of my boost was uh, my wastegate here. Um, I wasn't quite sure if I was going to run this uh, the Subaru at wastegate, um, so I just put a uh, kind of a makeshift bracket on it, um, just an uh, adapter bracket to the uh, that went to the previous mount that it had on there, and it was kind of thin. Like I said, it was just makeshift, just to test the uh, the wastegate out, but it. Uh, the wastegate worked pretty good other than the fact that I was losing boost so I actually went and uh, made a new uh, bracket and had a friend of mine uh, weld it right to this tube and uh, yeah it seems to be holding some boost now um, so let's go give it a, a try now the first thing you gotta do is check the gas oh yeah I got plenty of gas to go around the block uh, the Simon here is a 1956 uh, Volkswagen, and they didn't have uh, <laughs> gas gauges back then, or at least in this model they didn't, um, so I had to make shift. All right, what I got here, uh, I'll explain the uh, data log in a little bit. Uh, got a Galaxy Samsung uh, tablet here, and I run a MS, MSD Droid, or MS Droid, let me check that out here, so I'll give you false stuff. Yeah, MS Droid app. And uh, the app is really cool. Um, this tablet uh, with Bluetooth will uh, actually hook up to my uh, my uh, ECU when it, when it's running, and then I can take a data log. And being the the, the tablet works with a GPS, it'll actually even give me a ground speed, which is kind of nice because um, this old car here, the uh, speedometer is, is way off because I run a smaller tire up front, and the speedometer cable runs to the front tire and. And it's kind of nice to just to kind of know how fast I'm going. But when you data log, you get all that information, and uh, it'll actually uh, route out um, a map. If you look, if you look in through the uh, the MSD Droid app, it'll actually show you the map and where you went. Um, it's just it's just all kind of neat. Um, so uh, let's get the app started and uh, get the car started, and just go for a little cruise around the block.
kind of figured uh, back roads, uh, that's a little dangerous and uh, could be a help, healthy find too. That's a wrap, folks. Take care.